Have you ever heard of fluor fluorescent proteins? No. So there's a, there are things called the, I think the, the first one was green fluorescent protein. So some very clever people won the Nobel Prize because they said that was an algae, but that algae glows when we shine light on it. It'd be really interesting if we could isolate that and express it. Mm. They did it. And then people were like, it'd be even cooler if we could put that in other organisms. Again, they did that, they expressed it. And then people started tacking that onto the back end. Literally the chunk of DNA into mammals and, and human cells. And you can get, now there's a whole zoo of fluorescent proteins. But why would, why would you want those fluorescent proteins on the back of a DNA? Or on the protein. So it's, it's the, the bit of DNA says, I now want the fluorescent protein. Mm. This bit of, of your genome now has the, the code to make the protein. So when you make that mRNA, it goes out, makes the protein. When it folds up, you have your protein, but then you also have the fluorescent protein. Mm. Now I know where that fluorescent protein goes in the cell. Is it in the nucleus? Is it at the cell surface? Is it in the cytosol? Is it in the, the endoplasmic reticulum? What part is it subcellular localized to? Is it in my cell of interest if I'm in a, an organism, right? Is it in the liver? Is it in the blood? For me, the question was, what part of the embryo is it going to and how uniform is it? 